Good afternoon. Welcome to 2020 Social Good Summit. My name is Christine Sisse and I'll be your host for today. This year's summit is the seventh of its kind. And we've served through hundreds of applications to narrow it down to these nine wonderful contestants who represent the different regions we have here today. For today, the program we'll be having is these nine contestants have recorded different features of their businesses. We'll be presenting these speeches to the different judges we have present, and the judges will use this opportunity to clarify whether these candidates, these contestants, fit in for what we want to do. So, allow me to introduce you to the wonderful people who sit on our panel today as judges and who will be judging, taking time to judge who will be our next male and female contestant representing on this 2020 Social Good Summit. Good afternoon, I am Josephine Scottmanga. Good afternoon, I am Olubomi Thomas. I'm an innovator, recycling plastic and rubbers to compound dialects, decorating tiles, flower glass, tablet or plaque. In McKinney City, there was a lot of problems that plastic caused in our environment and communities. One, unhealthy environment. Two, environmental pollution. Three, refuge and civil disposal. Four, blockage of drainages. I tried to solve this problem by collection and recycling waste plastics and rubbers into commercially viable products and also to keep the country clean. It is very helpful to see that plastic has an economic value by recycling it into a useful products. This is one of the dialects, some interlocking dialects out of plastic. So it is the bigger size. And I have also a smaller size here, which is also an interlocking dialect. I would like to present to you eco generator. As you can see, this is the eco generator. Um, this is the unit itself where the gadgets are in, and this is the external part of the generator. External part of the generator. I'm going to demonstrate to you to see how the eco generator works. This is the switch. Just simple. You just have to get the switch. Switch is on. As you can see, now the balls are on. I'm going to put the David player for you. Now, the David player is on. And also the screen is on. I'm going to um, charge my phone. This is my cell phone. Now my phone is charging. As you can see, this is soundless, no smoke, no pollution. So just imagine having this kind of technology in my room with no side effect. Project T35 is a company with a vision that uh, empowers young women into entrepreneurship and innovation. Meanwhile, the government and the private sectors have tried to engage the rural how to manage their agricultural produce and to salvage the situation of poverty. But one thing that they are missing is how they can use that with a low-end technology. That has been a missing point. Other entrepreneurs, innovators, has also used the same method by connecting buyers to sellers and producers to urban markets. We all, they are all doing the same thing. But one of the questions that we need to ask ourselves, the first one is connectivity. How can we connect? these local farmers and urban markets, urban markets. 
what I mean by that, we have a strategic located place where we place our agent to connect the buyer and the local producer in a simple way by using a simple SMS text, the smartphone, the agent will be there to teach these local people how to pass on their message through the young market. And also, we'll be having a different set of radio discussions, even TV shows to, to showcase what these farmers have at the radio station or the TV station, like for one hour program, then people will be calling and giving out their, their comment. That is also good to connect them to the public and of what they do and the importance of the real market. Someone will want to know if this is a fact, a viable business. Yes. Number one, you don't have to use smartphone to get to your market. You don't have to use internet. All you can do is charge your phone, get your your top up and reach out to your some markets. Menstruation, it affects women across the world who can't access safe and hygienic sanitary products and who are so unable to deal with their periods with dignity. You may be wondering how those girls help themselves during their hard times of the month. Some uses tissues, old clothes, some use disposable parts, and some use it with the required type or not with the required type. Some just sit back and let the menstruation flow freely. You may be asking why. Do you know there are 800 million girls and menstruating women that menstruate daily? Do you know there are 500 million girls and women who don't have adequate menstrual products? In Sierra Leone, there are 25% of young girls who miss school because of their flu, or they can't access her during their flu. With this, I decided to develop a sustainable intervention by producing a handmade pad from a local material that is cheap, comfortable, effective, eco-friendly, with no chemical, 100% waterproof, African cotton with flower colors, and can be used over and over again. A whole pack can last you for a one year. Secondly, I developed a menstrual hand booklet to help girls get knowledge about their menstruation with some recommendations that the government and other stakeholders can be used. Thank you. We all can help girls menstruate and educate. They can bleed in peace and bleed happily. This is how it works. And this is the power switch. This switch is used to put on the LED here that recharge the system. And this is used to, to turn on the X. There is water in the this water is used for humidity for the eggs and this is the, 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 the incubator air and this is the archery. This is used for archery. And this is the automatic temperature checking screen. This is the voltmeter. And this switch is used to put on the fan inside for the cooling and cooling system. And this is used to put on the, 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 the system that circulates current.
during COVID, I was able to sensitize people on how to stop the spread of disease. To help support my community, I bring 108.0 FM Innovator Radio. And the project is focused on establishing a sustainable crop production system that uses no soil to grow crops. It basically uses water to grow crops in a controlled environment. This system is for hydrophilics. Our farming system in Sierra Leone is typically subsistence and the constraints are obvious. That gave me the push to study and become an agricultural engineer so that I can play my part coupled with efforts from different people to give a facelift to Sierra Leone's agriculture. My project is positioned to solving the problem of irregular crop production. Constraints we get in accessing and using agricultural water. Based on disease infestation, which has the tendency to reduce crop quality, and as well, the constraints buyers get to accessing produce in the market. Could you imagine growing crops in your living rooms? This system offers you the chance to grow crops in your dwelling houses with much convenience. It can create a significant impact in urban areas. Let's say, for example, in Fruta, we have access to agricultural land in Sierra Leone. So people depend on fruit that have been produced in the materials and are transported here. This type of crop production system, which is climate smart and uses minimal use of land, we can get the chance of eating fresh fruits and vegetables all year round. The vision is to make the farm attractive, convenient and very smart. Waste plastic is one of the major forms of polluting the environment. Waste plastic causes blockage of drainages that cause unhealthy environment and breed of mosquito causes malaria and other sickness in our community. My solution to these problems is collecting waste plastic and recycling them into various things like key holders, slippers, handbag, table set and other things. With these recycled products, they are affordable to buy by customers. Cleaning our environment help to prevent sickness and other health issues in our community. YMV design is focusing on improving the fashion image of the African women with the production and unique design of accessories and jewelries using local beads. EMB design, we recognize that there is a large number of disabled women who could be empowered and better their life. We help train, empower, and tap into the creativities of disabled people through beads making skills. Create self-employment, which will generate income for themselves, contributes to the economic development in Syria. This is my project I was talking about. The red slippers, it's different from other slippers you are seeing in town, lying in your center table. With EMB design, you can get the design that will make your power, your office, and even the person that's using it look unique because my design is unique and it's not common. We would like to thank our sponsors. See you all at the 2021 Social Good Summit. <laughs>